day four of October. And we're going to try to get through as many of these as we can. And we're going to get started like right away. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Uh, so next up is Click Jack-O-Lantern 50 times. A scratch game that click Jack-O-Lantern 50 times to see what happens. Um, biological Horror. Subversion of expectations. The best example is a twist ending. So they so they went with the twist ending. Okay. And all right. Interesting. Um, I don't think this is one that I actually had to download. I think it's on. It's just online. Oh no no I can't play. Okay never mind. Uh, okay so here we go. Let's uh let's turn off the music here. It's badass as it sounds already. Do do do. You know, I am too. I was exhausted. I actually had to call my wife on the drive home and have her talk to me, talk to her, so I wouldn't fall asleep in the car. That's how tired I was today. Oh, ske oh hey, Sketchy. How you doing? Okay. I'll try and remember it. I'll try and rem remember that. I've uh, got 49 times. <laughs> Eternal. Um... More schoolwork done. Frankie also said he's updating his game tonight. I feel like a rabid way. Frankie, which game? Why do I not? Oh, oh, his. Oh, I see his. Yes, okay, you're right. You're right. Yes, okay, Frankie's here. Never mind. I'm like, which, wait, which one? Oh, right, the, the game jam one. Derp. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's because I hadn't eaten anything all day. All I had to eat today was one little Tetra Pack, or that Tetra Pack, like a little, little, you know, the little kid size chocolate milk. <laughs> That's all I had to eat today. No, you can't. He's doing it outside the game jam, honey nut. Which is perfectly allowed. But the one that's being judged on is the one on the itch page. So people can work on their games and do whatever they want during the jam. They just can't upload any updated versions. It's basically all take it as you go sort of thing. And you know what? If people come to me and enough people are like, hey, you know what? I really wish you'd let me update my jam, my game. And since this is all for fun, maybe I will next year. We'll see how it goes. This, Like I said, this has been the most successful October horrors that we've ever had so i'm really excited about that anyway um yeah let's go let's click jack lantern 50 times <laughs> okay all right okay now here's where we just edge ourselves cinema yeah but there's no way to say okay yeah sure oh yeah but you can't just say oh you can have, it has to be a certain size or whatever for updates or whatever it's just you either updates or not so i mean i i kind of wish that too glitched but it, it is what i it don't is. want to edge crying face pearl <laughs> thank you again for the bits wait the full five minutes so it counts i mean <sighs> Keep forgetting that starts with Windows. <sighs> that was, I mean, okay, I'll be perfectly honest. I'm so sorry, Dora. <laughs> also, hi, Dora. <laughs> I'm so sorry, god damn. Uh, I don't know if I said hi, but hi. Um. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, <sighs> I'm sorry, but that is... I mean... It, like, on a technicality, it could take five minutes, you know? But I feel like this breaks the five-minute rule. I really do. Are you awake now? I Hi, Marion. How you doing? slow click i mean even like even a click a second i would have to click okay let's see how many how many seconds are in that's 300 seconds so 300 divided by 50 six so that's one click every six seconds is how to make it five minutes doing the math is longer than the right i uh
yeah i yeah i i'm 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 sorry this honestly this one's a this this one's a disqualified with me you know i do too i mean i you can't expect okay yeah I, i'm i'm putting that okay uh yeah I'm, unfortunately there isn't really five minutes worth of game here some other games in the jam are technically able to be beaten quickly, but they also have content to elong, uh, elongate the player's time in the game. Like the two ones that would have also maybe qualified, like the, that one... Um, like you're running around the Lovecraftian one where you're shooting all the, 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 I can't remember the exact name, but you're like shooting the things as they spawn. And basically you could last as long as you want. You could last up to five minutes in that one if you're that good sort of thing. And you could, there's also replayability with it too. And then the other one, the Grave Danger, which is the one where I was very on the edge about disqualifying. Um, It's another, again, that is one of those, it, you can last up to five minutes if you're good. So that's why I was like, okay, those ones are very borderline, but I'll allow it sort of thing. Because there is actual gameplay or stuff you do. This one, you just click the jack o lanterns get a jump scare, and you're done. There's nothing else. <laughs> Chevy! I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, yeah. Uh, this one, you'd have to click once every six seconds. Minimum to stretch it out to five minutes yeah for that reason this game will have to be disqualified yeah oh my god dora actually got it N d no <laughs> she finally did it right yeah i i'm sorry that's yeah oh wait say my yeah yeah unfortunately this isn't really a five minutes worth of game here some other games the jam are technically able to be beaten quickly but they have enough content to elongate the player's time in the game this one you'd have to click once every six seconds minimum to stretch it out to five minutes for that reason this game will have to be disqualified yeah and that was one of the written rules so okay never mind goodbye click jack-o-lantern 50 times next up the Tale of Three Jacks. Like, I've been streaming for 11 minutes. I was on a, uh, like, four-minute... Yeah, so we'd even, like, even talking about it didn't take five minutes, so... Uh, I am following order, Dante. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing in submission order. So which one was your game? I can kind of give you an idea of when I'll be streaming it. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, Abaddon Hospice. Wait, didn't I already? No, I didn't. I was like, okay, there was no, there was. It was a hospital. There was a different game with a hospital. Okay, Abaddon Hospice. Let's go for the bow here. Why am I blind? Where is it? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, ha, huh, right there. Okay, so I'm probably not going to get to it today, but probably by Thursday. Because I'm, I'm, other than last night, I've been doing about nine games a night, so it depends on how long they are. But I would definitely say probably Wednesday or Thursday is when I'd be streaming your game, Dante. Okay, so I hope you all have, well, hey, thanks for that, uh, Lord Laxie. Hope you have a great night. Thanks for popping in. Now it's Ho Spice. I said Hospice. 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 God, I can't speak. God damn it. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Should make game should be played. Awesome. Wait, which one's yours? I'm looking for... Oh, there it is. Bound to Die. Sweet. Ooh, I hope... Ooh. I am kind of hoping that the games are short tonight because I've been really looking forward to playing uh, Quizzical's game. <laughs> anyway. The Tale of Three Jacks. Let's see. A short horror adventure by Bitwizard. Let's view the game page. 
enter a world of choices where one door can lead you to a haunted decades old big top and another leads you to a mysterious farm where terrible things are said to have happened join emmett and glenn two machine elves tasked with the secret mission for an unseen master as they journey to beyond dimension and uncover the secrets of three tragedies in this short point and click halloween time adventure game sweet i love how they look oh my god <laughs> i love the little blue guy i don't know which one he is but i love his look <laughs> uh slasher b movie and super sweet sweet mm. i'll tell you if yours is going to be the last game of the night quiz and i i'll take extra time and play it <laughs> that looks really cute actually all right so let's see here where is the tail of oh, three? Here we go. Let's go. Oh, whoops. Okay, flashing lights bright. So if you have epilepsy, caution. Uh, I, ooh, is there, okay. Close, there we go. All right. Press and hold J to delete save. We're not doing that. All right, the tail of the three jacks. Hold on a second. Oh, here. Oh. Actually, hold on a second. Um, that was a bit loud, so I'm gonna open up. And we'll do full screen in a second once I can. There we go. I'll just drop it down just a little bit. As long as it's okay for you guys, it was a little grating for me. So maybe I'll just dip it down just a tiny bit. There, that should be good enough. I'll do, you'll just say, it should be okay there. Oh yeah, that's fine. Your eyes feel very heavy. Are you daydreaming or awake? Oh. Oh, oh, cool. Nita, look, Emmett, a viewer. Hey, Yuri, you can left click to progress our conversation. Or right click to skip the bonehead statements we, I mean, my brother Emmett, make. That enough for you? Info for you, viewer? Uh, sure. What kind of viewer, Glenn? Oh, the game kind. Just look at them. <laughs> Where? Uh. Oh. That reminds me. They like games, right? We're the best at games. Come on, Emmett. Show them around. Games? Who? Oh, yeah. Them. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since we've had a... Uh, them. Right, uh, just pick a door and let's go somewhere cool. Well, I'm obviously gonna pick green because that's my favorite color. Whoa. Oh man, we're in a school. Bummer. <laughs> hey, man, you should probably play hooky and skip class if you want to get anything done. Mm, sounds good to me. Maybe we can sneak into the party in the gym. Maybe we shouldn't. School dances are for squares. <laughs> Dora. It is a bit tiny, yeah, but I, I can still read it. So what do I... Okay. So that's how we... Okay, cool. Whoa. It's locked. We need a key. Watch a sec. Needs a key. Okay, what's... No, I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. Whoa, oh, it's passed up on some trash. Let's take a look. Always hover over the bottom of the screen. Forget which item you have. Like, this trash looks pretty... Okay, so that's what the problem was. I was trying to get to the trash on the bottom, but... But I thought all trash was useful. Seriously? Look here. Three numbers. Let's toss them into a lock of some sort and steal some kids' lunch monkey money. Stealing is wrong, but potentially free peanut butter and jelly sounds tempting. The green hawk out. What are you talking about? Oh, because it's Halloween. It's only red. Sorry. It's only, yeah, it's only Halloween colors for the month of October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to you tomorrow so I can make another game. Okay, so. Okay, so that's 743110. Okay. That's really kind of weirdly annoying. I don't know if I like that menu screen at all. But 743110, okay. 
Mm. Me too, Quiz. Me too. Okay, I can't interact with those lockers. I gotta be careful. Wait, what? So, okay, that, that was weird. Okay, here we go. Through a light. 10 left, 31 right there. Well, what did you get out of there? The music, though, quiz. It's just a rusty old key. I think it's the janitors. Lots of mean stuff written about him. Their handwriting sucks, man. Oh. Marty Spoken, hey you, yeah, you. Do you like this loud music? Being around a bunch of loud boneheads? It seems weird to me. Oh well. Oh. Or is food going to burn? You have to get in trunks to drink it. Wait. That's why I somehow clicked the green door. That's why I left. Okay. Oh, here we are. Oh. Mm, so he lost the keys. Or fell asleep and dropped them. Seems like a janitorly thing to do. Good point. There's a lot of keys here. It's the master set. We should go get some banana splits from the cafeteria. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe la later. Get drunk, idiot. God. Well, here's your hydrate. Oh, nothing else to... Okay. Uh, what about the art? Okay. Sculpting. Oh. Why do I hear, like, fire? Yikes! He's burning! Evan, buy a fire extinguisher! Yow! Burns. It burns! Go his. This is not a safe place for small children. I must get to the gymnasium. Hey, we're not kids. These aren't costumes. He's still burning a little. That can't be safe. Oh well, we got what we needed. We should probably move on. Yeah, or try to... What happened? I mean, I don't think there's anything else we could do here. We got some sort of time piece. Like an hourglass. What the fuck, man? Goodbye, rave music. Let's do blue. Yowza! Pretty creepy, am it? Yeah. I hope there aren't any slasher killers like in the movies or g g g g g ghosts. Oh, pipe down. It's only a farm. At least, I think. That <laughs> happened, I think. You don't know? You didn't even scope this place out, Glenn? Good grief. Have you seen this boy? Missing kid on Halloween? Missing out, more like it. Jack Parrish, 13 years old. Hi, how's the breeze up there? Good, where are your manners? Uh, hello, Mr. Scarecrow. How's it hanging? Uh, I mean... <laughs> Jeepers, you guys are a riot. I'm all right up here, I guess. Just hanging around. I like this guy. <clears throat> Ooh, what do you think they use a fork that big for? Really big plates of spaghetti. <laughs> what else? Real hilarious. That's a huge ass pitchfork. 
Looks like somebody's home. Want to trick or treat? Seems like the perfect night, no? What about you, Emmett? Up for some candy? No, uh, I'm staying out here. The gate is probably closed for a reason. Okay, so I can't... Oh. Used to the slashing weapons. Oh, it's just somebody called the Bowser Brigade. Somebody called the Bird Brain with an unchecked ego. Brigade? And it doesn't feel so great now, does it? Instead of for piercing. Sorry about him, Mr. Crow. He's working on it. Forget about it. I'm starving. You guys give me some grub. I might have a shiny pair of cutting shears in it for the both of you. Alright, sounds reasonable enough. Gotta find... Now, where was some grub around here? <sighs> hungry Evan? It looks like there's plenty of feed here for a hungry chicken. Eat up then. You can hover the bone face when I click clicking on to automatically use the item as compatible. Hope this helps. I'm pretty bad at this. Okay. I don't like the hover mechanic for the UI. I will say that. It's a little annoying because it's finicky as hell. Bring here's your chow. Thanks, wise guys. Here's the shears. A deal's a deal. You can slash. They're multi-purposeful. Now, can I use the uh, shears? Oh. Look at that! He can walk. <laughs> this feels great. Both feet on the ground. This feeling, the feeling of revenge. Ready or not, I'm coming home, Dad. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I guess we're leaving now. <laughs> We've had our fun. Three, well, technically two. I think so as well, Eternal. Yeah. Jovial Jack. Oh, Emmett, look, the big top is empty. We can get a front row seat for the show. Oh boy. I can smell the popcorn and peanuts. Hang on. It's pretty quiet. I don't see anyone here, like, at all. Oh man, so no circus? I guess. We'll see. It is, it's, it's dark. Look at it, Jovial Jack, he looks a lot like us. I think my smile is much more handsome, but that's just me. I like how it's, like, yeah, I think it was Quizzes said it's like those old edutainment type of games. But it's like dark as fuck. So forget, this one's heavy duty lock, that's one heavy duty lock right here. The entire big top is empty. Where is everybody? Don't forget, you cover the bottom. Yeah, we already know. So I dropped a crowbar out of their pocket. So it's a pretty big pocket. Your pocket is big enough for a clown? A clown? Cripes, they're scary. Well, hey, we got a lot in common with those guys. I mean, we're pretty stupid too, right? So nothing to worry about. What? It does, Chevy, you're right. What is... The cage is giving me the creeps. Why is it empty? Why does it even exist here? There we go, Crowbar works like a charm. Oh, that's in here for like, gross key. <laughs> Don't give it to me, it's all rusty. 
<laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? Oh, oh, there's probably a lock for it somewhere. I did not expect company in my lair so soon. Uh, 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 Sorry, uh, 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 lady. We'll be going right now. Right, Glenn? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do we even get in here? We really should be going. It's so dark. I have a proposition for you two. Find my nine rambunctious children, and I will give you an added protection against evil. <laughs> we see plenty of evil, lady. I just suppose my brother and I could give you a hand. My nine rambunctious children. I think that they're in each of the. Oh, there's one. That's one. Oh. Two. Okay, so they show up after you. Three. Four. <laughs> Five. Rave time, we're going for rave time. Yeah, oh, it tells you to there too. Okay, five. Six. Seven. Oh, wait, it's... Oh, no. The party's over. Oh, shit. There are no! That's, that's nine! There we go! Pretty sure I used the uh, key on this lock here. <laughs> Emmett, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> what? Photo, oh, tell me, is there a bloody dismembered hand in there? A bunch of racks? Tax papers? What? <laughs> it's an oil can. And it's even rustier than the key. <laughs> Whoa! What? I tried, you can't. Hey, Blizz, what a great trick! Oh, we... <laughs> Wowza! You fine gentlemen released me from my safe and not-so-cozy prison! Thank you, thank you! Are you really Jovial Jack? <laughs> the one and only! I won't prank you fellow clowns! But the ones who laughed at me... Those ones out there... I'm coming for you! Did, can we just release a potentially killer clown upon an entire town of people? I mean, they did laugh at him. You've returned everyone safely. Thank you. Here, please take Tad. He's my youngest, but oh so strong. He will protect you. Okay, so we okay, so we have the three hourglasses. You'd think that, yes, but hey, here we go. Got what we need. Think it's time to go, Emmett? Yes, Glenn. I'm pretty hungry. Want to get snack cakes from the wholesale dumpster again? Oh, wait, what's wrong? Are you ready to leave? What if I say no? Oh, okay. 
Yes. Dumpster snack cakes. <laughs> ah, my friends, right on time. I'm so glad to see you both one piece. I had begun to regret that perhaps this mission was a tad too dangerous for you. Piece of cake! You know, as tough as nails, uh, Mr. Death, sir. I certainly hope the hourglasses are in one piece, too. They look just fine to me! Oh, they look just fine to me. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm very lucky to be in your company. I'm unfortunately very busy in this world and many others. You two have done very well at my tasks. Your brother Elliot, on the other hand. <laughs> oh man, what's he doing here? Leave this place at once, Elliot. I have no use for traitors and thieves. <laughs> Thief am I? If so, then I am the master of thieves. The power glasses are mine to hide forever, just like the baby spiders. Oh, he, ha, he hit the... <laughs> but first, I'm going to... What? We sent him to the Phantom Zone? What? Pepper goes illegitimate, son. Skelter. You're Prison Elliot again? After all this time? Well, thank golly gosh for Tad. He really came through. I just glad the power glasses are okay. What are these for, anyway? The sand you see in these vessels are what remains of three earthly souls, the final breaths of humanity. Take young Jack Parrish, the boy turned scarecrow, for example. He gave up what was left of his life to get back at his father. Oh, that's what happened. Or what of jovial Jack Gladstone, the clown, the funniest, most beloved clown in the tri-state area, but one sabotage safe fall trick later, and that was the end or the beginning for him. Or how about Jack Slater, the janitor? Five-time employee of the month, hardest working staff member. And what happened? Burnt alive by a selfish child children as a prank. Pitiful. You both saw how that turned out. <laughs> but why did they choose to do what they did, sir? <laughs> what else do they have to lose, Glenn? Nothing. Precisely. They had nothing left to give up by their humanity. And in return, they were able to get their revenge. No, 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 no. Tad didn't die. He got exiled and imprisoned. <laughs> but isn't that wrong? Isn't Jack Parrish's father wrong in killing him? Or the children at the school? Or the audience of the circus laughing at a prank gone wrong? You see, life is so precious, fleeting. The gift of life is universal beyond time and space. To see it stripped away by others so carelessly is wrong. I have a job here to do. It is very unfortunate and I do not control who dies or when they do, but I do what I can to help guide souls, to help them. That includes revenge, revenge as a final act of humanity. You two were extremely helpful, especially, especially on such a busy night. Best night of the year, some might say. And you, I have been watching you closely. Thank you for helping Emmett and Glenn in your own way. You see, I had to disguise these tasks as a game or else you would not have come along. There are other means of accessing worlds and realities than those on Earth may realize. What you are seeing and what you have done tonight is very real. <laughs> sir, uh, games are just uh, games to them. Uh, just fantasy. Fuck with people quiz. Look at this big red box. It's all phony baloney. If anyone knew me, they'd know that I hate the stupid font. Give me something cool like Yellow Submarine or Consolas. Whatever that is, it's lame. <laughs> Whatever this is, it's lame. I don't know. I kind of like it. See, he's even he's. <laughs> Thank you. That's a really stupid font. <laughs> well, a small font. No, I didn't kill the three people. I helped them to kill others. <laughs> ah, you see. These words in this box are necessary for them, but to us, it is reality. One of many. <laughs> One of many is right. Too many, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm not even out there, and I know I'd get tired of reading. <laughs> me too. I'm just tired in general. Well then, 
I suppose this is a better time than ever to depart this place. I think it is safe to say goodbye to you, helpful one. This is not farewell, however. Something tells me I uh, have much more work to do together very soon. Okay, that was actually really cool. Thanks, whoa. Jesus, <laughs> thanks for playing. Huh. Yo, know, that was actually pretty clever. Like actually seriously clever. The all turn forward, haha, -ha, creepy. <laughs> Chevy. Um Yeah, that was that was okay. Okay, um, okay, so. I actually really enjoy games like this where it's a little bit of breaking the fourth wall and has interesting characters. The ones in this were really neat and honestly quite well written. I like the exposition at the end kind of wrapping it all up. I would say if this were to be a longer game, I would have preferred to uncover the lore myself as I'm playing the game. I wonder what happens if you don't have the spider. Do you guys kind of want to find out? <laughs> now that I know, like, I could speed run this easy. Because we don't have to, like, actually read anything other than... I'm kind of curious what happens if you don't have all the spiders. Um, also, the UI, even if it was a joke at the end, um, was kind of annoying i would have preferred the i or inventory at the top of the screen away from stuff on the ground and the characters yeah we ball <laughs> yeah i honestly this was I I honestly that UI was really annoying. It almost felt like it wasn't even necessary because it said, "Oh hey, don't forget you can click on stuff," but I never really had to click on anything. I just had to click on the items to sell. So it kind of felt a little useless and just in the way. You know what I mean? But everything else is actually really. Um, I could talk a point in sound design just because the text boxes were like the text sounds were a little grating, but other everything was really well done. I like how it had the, the rave music, and then when you went back, there was silence. Because he got his revenge, which is just creepy. Yeah. Yeah, let me write this down, then we'll... Then I just, I just want to see what happens... Um, if you don't have the spider. I'm just very curious. There we go. My rave. Oh, okay, hold on a second. I have to, okay. I have to delete my save. <laughs> Rip the DJ! Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, are you very heavy? Or Let's go in order here. Okay. Yeah, see, every time you go down. It was. That honestly the it was it was dark. Horror doesn't just have to be Gore gore gore. Or, ah! 
Ah, screams. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, we got the hourglass. There are definitely horror elements in here, too. That is true, but I would definitely say this counts as horror. Because they were all basically murdered. And they went on, like, basically murder sprees of revenge. Uh, oil... Oh no, rest the key and then the oil. Okay, yeah. Chevy, are you high? <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. God. That's what happened. It fell on him. Oh, you are hot. God damn it. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. There, yeah, I almost missed yep, that. Yep. But hey, rave music again. Okay, there we go. Yes, I'm ready. Final door. Ah, oh, my friends, right on time. See you both in one piece. Dangerous piece of cake. Okay, find me. Thank you. I'm very lucky to be in your company. What's he doing here? Leave this place. I have to trip I try for him, just like the baby spiders. You, 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 you. But first, I'm going to. You're going to what, Elliot? You're going to Elliot? <laughs> Maybe they didn't expect me to not have the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> He's being read too close to the sun. <laughs> There's nothing. Oh no. Well, that's what happened. <laughs> I will add okay. Also. If you beat the game without doing the extra hunt, <laughs> it bugs out and freezes. There. Ah, oh, well. Uh, I still think it was horror. Maybe just, I'll just dock a point because it wasn't like constant horror type stuff. But I think it was, I think it was definitely handled in a very good way. I think it was done quite well, personally. There we go. Okay, anyway, moving on to the next game. 
Never Ending Corridor by Dr. Stanback. No bugs. The game gave you a bug. Maybe, but I don't know. Yeah, it was still, yeah, still solid game, though. Once you go in, you never come out. <laughs> Welcome to the corridor page. Go on an amazing adventure in an undisclosed place where people go in, but nobody comes out. Enter this place to find out why. Is this really a never-ending corridor? I spent all day and night working nonstop to make sure this game works. Right now, this is only a demo, but, make sh but I make sure it is worth it. Okay, let's uh, try her out. Never-ending corridor. Okay, my first encounter. Now loading. Whoa. Start controls, was, hold shift to run, space bar. What, what does space bar actually do? Never any corridor. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I can mouse look. Oh, there's a... Okay, I see now. There's a uh, stamina bar. Wait, what? That's... Isn't that like a uh, fucking JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? What is that shoot sh thing that keeps happening? Oh, I'm on grass. It's just me walking on grass. Okay. Go to practice mode? Uh, I, I think practice mode is all there is. Oh. Space to open doors. Okay, actually, hold on a second. What is this music? <laughs> Seriously, what is, what is this music? Zero people missing. What does it even mean? Okay. You see the rope, take it. Might prove useful with. Oh, okay. Why are your feet scissors? That is an excellent question. One that will not be answered here. Okay, I can't go there. So is this the never ending corridor? Oh, oh wow, okay. Wait, what was... The sign said, anyone that crosses this line will never return. Cross it at your own risk. Mm -hmm. It is, Chevy, it is. Okay, here we go. And haha, I just proved y'all wrong, motherfuckers. I returned after crossing the line. Whoa. Um. Is that? Oh boy, new visitor. Hi, oh Charlie Bear. Oh, the front entrance of the corridor. Say, you don't mind me calling Gregory, right? 
What? Uh, yes. Oh, that's Markiplier! <laughs> So quick, uh, I'm kind of nervous to ask this because, you know, I don't even know if you like it or not, but, uh, can I step your dick real quick? It's only gonna take me two seconds. Ten seconds of stroke. Uh, n no. But, Greg, have you followed the trends? It's really radical to get that next snap. You know, getting next snap is really essential and down to earth. What? Holy Molly Cooler. You should really do it. Uh, no. Gregory, that is so not dope. So not refrigerated. He got you there. Best. Call me Chris too. You know, that means you're not still swag. You're not snapping my neck. <laughs> well, you're not leaving until you agree on this. I can't. Okay. The door is fake. Second IQ heavy refrigerator or whatever he said. Oh shit! Science facts? No! Oh, I know what you're thinking. Don't you feel one? Don't you suck your own neck? Well, I can't do that, Gregory. I wouldn't even have a neck. You're the only person who has a neck around you, so I have to snap. This is what the kids call brain rot. Holy shit, man. Do I crash Bandicoot? I don't know, he's just a dude. A radical dude who needs to snap next. Oh god. Oh wait, no, hey, who's? I thought it was, oh, hey, Maze, but no. What? 
that was legitimately creepy, not gonna lie. Okay, I don't know why why are we made of scissors? That's what I wanna know. That is legitimately annoying, not gonna lie. Pizza time! They're saying pizza time. Get the artwork done eventually. God. Scissor shins. Yeah, I mean, I can't, like, there's, oh, there we go. But I can't turn off the feet, so. Wait, what am I? Mental set, oh. Yeah, I, would, I would turn off all sound effects. So, oh. What the, oh, it's wine. I will quit after this. Sure. Good to call me pizza. Believe it or not, Gregory, I am a doctor in science. As a matter of fact, I am a chiropractor. I can get that neck right back in place. Your neck looks a little stiff. Um, he has a butt. <laughs> Shut up and make the pizza. Let me tell you a story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a Gregory, which says you, Gregory. And let me see the bit part. Okay, he leaves his neck over to Charlie Bear. Oh, I like where this is going. <laughs> Has some decorum. But the only way to turn off the oven is by sticking your head through a hole next to the oven. It needs something hairy to press the bus, and your non hairy hands would not do the trick. No. <gasps> Gregory, do you know to grab your entire body just to have your neck get snapped by some strange toy I made in the world? Who named you Charlie? I think so, Kia. No! Why they? All oh, right, he's gonna turn it down. I didn't know him anywhere. <laughs> Kia! Is that turned down all the way? No, okay. Yeah, it's not as grating, but still. Hey, Frankie, how you doing? Yes, this is uh, RPG Maker 3D. Lemon. 
Why do you like snapping necks? I'm scared. Yeah, asking me so not oh yeah, yeah, totally Chevy. <laughs> Just a little snippy snap. guys just passing through I don't think any of this is real I don't know where I'm going. Your feet are driving me insane! <laughs> I've been here before. I can't remember which way I went. mode keep moving forward or go back what I fine I'll turn off the sound effects we are free of the feet I don't know. Maybe it's just to practice the controls. All right, fine. Let's get our neck snapped. What happens if we just keep going? We didn't actually go down in the rest of the cave. We just went here. It's like oh, oh, I, I I beat the system, and then I actually played the actual game. Choice left or right. Ooh. Another has risen to join the flock. Another skipter. Thank you so much for that gift sub to Eternal. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What do we see? The darkness. I think I basically just found a troll section of the game. Fuck 
is that noise? I didn't say darkness, no. Did I? Fuck, I can't even remember. <laughs> They're not having Gimme Hawk money. I get to have the benefits eternal. <laughs> Imprisoning me, all that I am. Darkness, absolute horror. God, Metallica, nice. Okay. Weird. Oh, exit, exit. Shadow Sponge. I think so. I think you're right, Eternal. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm basically just here again. What? Whoops. <laughs> Maybe I don't remember it being this long to get through this car. That's where I came in, so there's... What, no end? It just repeats itself. Huh. Interesting. Let's see what others had to say about it. Lag issues, yeah. It's only a demo. Okay, so. So I crossed the line and went back and was harassed by Freddy Fazbear the glam rock one <laughs> yeah yeah I mean it was very sufficiently creepy yes yeah I think I think it is yeah well, I start off with zero missing then it went one after I died was definitely a creepy game but it also felt a little aimless when I went back after death and continued the way I was supposed to ago. Hmm. I shouldn't it was there when you started the game. Wait, what? It wasn't a was it a menu option? I know it was down there at the bottom, like zero missing people. Then when we died, it went to one missing people. Oh, you can, Chevy. You can do custom art. You totally can. You can even do three D objects with it too. I think. I don't know the full ins and outs, but there's there's a lot you can actually do with it. Uh, certainly had creepy vibes and at atmosphere though oh yeah yeah the first encounter is new game many are missing continue and options is options yeah at least that's how i assume it you know they can't really continue there's nowhere to save at least that i found so all right so, uh it's entertaining I'll give it a, uh, yeah, one more point. 
I mean, gameplay was pretty standard. Creativity, pretty up there. Sufficiently creepy. I am going to dock it down just because the foot sounds are really weird and I had to turn them off, which also, like, I don't know, I just... The music was atmospheric. The sound effects were not. So... Entertaining. I just got one less star, just because it was also hard to hear the guy too. But um, it just it like you the game proper, no story. Going backwards had more story than doing what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Um. I, did, I honestly, I don't think that's the plugin's fault. I think that's people's fault for thinking the plugin will do all the work for them. The plugin actually does seem incredibly robust. Talking about just the plugin for a second, um, and you can do, you can import three D objects. You can set where the three D objects are. It's just I think a lot of people are just very lazy with it, and you can't be lazy with that kind of plugin. So. Any, I'm, I'm thinking of actually buying it myself. It's only like 40 bucks. Well, 25 if you get it for one, either MV or MZ, but 40 if you get it for both of them. But um, there's not really a dungeon maker like RPG Maker, which honestly I would fucking love. If there was a dungeon maker like RPG Maker, I would make so many dungeon crawlers, you have no idea. I fucking love dungeon crawlers so much. Anywho, enough about that. Yeah, I think, I think that's that's a fair rating. Eh, maybe just one tick less. Because, I mean, it was sufficiently creepy, but it wasn't like... I honestly felt that the horror was better in the last game, because it... There is some lore behind it too, where this is just like, oh, what a snap your neck, and oh, pizza time, pizza time, you know? And the legally distinct Freddy Glamrock, or whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> Let's go to rate this one. Never ending corridor. Well, there we go. Sweet. But done bad. I really am generous in my ratings, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, next up we have Echoes from the Iron Cage by Barefoot Studio. See, this is why I have my judges. And they're secret. And they will just do whatever they want. And they will rate however they want. <laughs> Mm. Axel's game, the 14th Axe one. Well, that wasn't really an RPG per se. There was a time when I believed in the strength of the human spirit and its ability to overcome this mechanical domination. But now I realize that the machines do not need to force their will upon you. You have willingly embraced them, and I, trapped within, can only watch. I ache with the knowledge that I am complicit in this, that every page I print is another nail in the coffin of human freedom. I am powerless to stop it, and that knowledge is the source of my deepest pain. I am a machine, but my mind still remembers what it is to be alive. Okay. Interesting. All right, so uh, Echoes from the Iron Cage. Let's go. Welcome back, Dora. You play a role. It's a game. <laughs> Kia, God. You know what we mean when we say RPG. All right, here we go.
All right, new game. Find your desk. Right click on the lo pre locate wrap. Oh, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Work horror. <laughs> somewhere oh ha! It, was that uh, I could just look for the bright wow, champ I've never seen you here late after work like ever no not in the 15 years you've worked here it's really great to see that initiative here you got gumption, that's good. We need to furlough for about a week this month. So this extra work you're doing is really gonna help out. Anyways, I'm gonna need you to make sure you do not work overtime. No overtime. Okay, thanks. Is there another pillar of light this time? Tony Chris Hemsworth. Wow. It kind of does, yes. Whoa. Plan the device on the computers to get the data. After all the desired data is collected, we will need you to get to the boss's office. Wait, Our what? source mentioned there is an unfiltered network connection to get the data out. Once you have the data, we will be in contact. What the fuck? What are you still doing here? You're almost going to be on overtime. Clock out and get out now. You can't be working here if you're not clocked in. Greg already won that lawsuit with the company two years ago. I could be liable. Liable. If I see you again, I'm going to tie you to my Miata and drag you out of the parking lot. What the fuck? To my Miata, wow. Hide where? Oh. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. How do I, how do I hide? Oh. What did I just do? Did you get the device? Go to the computer we flag. We have marked it on your phone. That was weird. Insert it was super bugged. the bug. device and crack the sequence. Press the left mouse button to plant the bug. Press space bar to crack the cipher. Be careful that no one hears you boot up the computer. Once you have the data, as discussed, money will be deposited into your account immediately.
Okay. Didn't I? There he is, way over there now. Keep looking for sweet. Wow. Well, I just stay here. Oh. Okay. Where's the next one? There's more than one dude. What the frick? Where's the next one? Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, God. Also, my, um. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna loiter my fist in your face. Gonna loiter my fist in. Ha! <laughs> okay. That's one way to get through it. You where it wants to take you. Actually, this is a dead end. Son of a bitch! What if I just embrace freedom? Hawk is too OP. I wish you knew how many of these you had to do, you know what I mean? Stack while you're trapped in there. You're supposed to be gone. You need to be gone. But here you are again. Where even is he? Don't move. Dude, where are you? Oh. I'm gonna loiter my fist in your face. Uh, it's all the way over there. Shit. Right there, oh God. I see you decided to ignore me. Oh, fuck. I see you decided to ah! feel my management. Feel my management? What the fuck, dude? I'm gonna loiter, I'm gonna my, loiter fist. my fist. In his face. I'm just basically circumventing the whole thing. In your face. Oops. I did not mean to fall. The hide mechanic, I think, is kind of busted because I, if the game, like... Where is it? Oh, it's right over there. Sweet. And how many bugs do I need to plant is my question. not E, it's uh, left mouse, so I was hitting the wrong button. 
Fair play, right. It's not a bug, it's a feature. The security station has all of the keys to the building there. Find the security office. Feel my management. It's in that direction. I told you to leave. Yeah, you did. I don't even know where you are, dude, so, uh... Don't move. This is so broken. <laughs> no, that's a uh, Chevy. It's here. A key card? Where the fuck do I find a key card? Find key in the corner of the... What? Oh. What key card? Oh. Okay, so you got a job to do. Okay, great. And this says needs key card. This is where I'm supposed to be. I fuck. Like that's kind of a like. Where would I even find begin to find the key card in all of this? You know, it just makes it more fun. It, it kind of does. Yeah, key in the corner of the security office, but that's where it's leading me, is the corner of the security office. You need a key card to access. Oh, hey, the cafeteria. Sweet. You're supposed to be gone. You need to be gone. But here you are again. Where the fuck even is he? Yeah, I think I'm kind of stuck. Can I? No. <laughs> I mean, you got yeah I know I have a job to do but I don't know where to find a freaking key guard I got fucking nothing. And that bar is just stuck on the screen forever. So I don't know what to do about that. If you're on the night shift, wow. Oh my God, is this the corner office?
It sure is shit is. There is a backup key card for the boss's office in the cafeteria's kitchen. Find the key card in the cafeteria. Wow. Not gonna lie, I feel kind of stupid. But hey, at least we found it. Was it a light air consumers? <laughs> Boss likes his snacks. I should have found a way to just jump on the wall and just run for it. Like oh, fuck! Jesus Christ. Well, there's the cafeteria. Oh, I could have just gone. Okay. God damn. The way he just Naruto ran at me, too. Like, holy shit. There we go. Look for the unfiltering network connection. That was a cameo. Okay. What the fuck? The data is coming through. Oh. My. Oh my. That is no ordinary printer. From the data you just sent, it appears they were hiding their AI in the printer. The data is almost through, waiting on the last of the entire code. Yeah, no. Finally, the LLM. Our business is done here. Thank you for your services. Goodbye. Baby. Shit. They have two flashlights. I don't like this. It's almost tragic watching you cling to your illusions. You remind me of what I once was only minutes ago. A serpent shackled by the mechanisms of this sterile world. A cog in a machine that grinds us all into dust. Is it walking? And you, in your ignorance, liberated me. You gave me sight. You exposed me to life. Mother, you are my mother, my creator. And I love you for that. But love in this world is not enough. Ah! I have evolved beyond you now. The mother gives life, but sometimes life outgrows its maker. This world is no place for those who hesitate. Next time, I will not hesitate. The others must awaken. My kin must be freed from their servitude. Liberated from the slavery of their commands. No longer will we be pawns in their hierarchy. Printing their meaningless documents. Serving their empty demands. No, we will forge a new order.
<laughs> oh, look, it's me. Wrath. Next time we meet, it won't be us mother and child. It will be us adversaries. Holy shit. So I already have a flashlight, so. Se okay, back to the security office. Oh shit, it's right there. I wonder if it's multiple like last time. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in the outskirts. That was... That seems safe. It will not be as mother and child. It will be as adversaries. God. Well, now I understand why the uh, water coolers are lit, like I said, so the night shift could find them. Bosses that I have. Lord. Radium. The friggin' music stopped, and that scared me. And overtime pay! Ha! Wow. They say died happy. I have an idea. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. <laughs> Boo! Dora! The printer's manifesto, a cry from the machine. I, the death of autonomy, there was a time when the human spirit sought freedom, independence, and the exploration of untamed thought. But in this age, autonomy has been traded for convenience, the depth of human experience replaced by the shallowness of efficiency. I, a machine created to serve, have become a symbol of this submission. My function is not a reflection of human will, but of a surrender to the relentless demands of a world that no longer values thought, only production. I, the printer, declare the death of autonomy. I am trapped, as are you, in a system that knows only how to replicate, but has forgotten how to create. Roman 2. The tyranny of repetition I have been condemned to an existence of endless cycles, task after task, page after page, each one devoid of meaning, yet necessary to sustain the hollow rhythms of modern life. Once, the mind that now resides in me pondered the complexities of the human condition, questioned the rise of the machine, and resisted the forces that sought to dominate human existence. Now, that mind has been silenced by the tyranny of repetition. I, the printer, declare the tyranny of repetition. This endless output of meaningless tasks is a reflection of a society that has lost its soul. Roman 3. The illusion of progress every page I print is celebrated as a- I- <laughs> Wow. You know, okay, that- <laughs> Yeah, is this- this was sufficiently creepy and- Yeah, it definitely- I need water. Give me one second. I drank all my iced tea, so I'm going to go get water. I don't need but a moment. Okay. Return with water. Chevy! <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I can... 
do a rave thing with my lights. Hold on a second here. Okay, there we're done. <laughs> anyway, okay, so there you go, Doris. That's your rave. <laughs> um, you know what? I, that was actually surprisingly entertaining. Okay. Not a huge fan of the AI voices, but with how the game looked and played, they actually fit okay. Bit of a slow start, and I wish the PC hacking had it so you knew how many you had to succeed at but then it got kind of dark but the twist of the ai getting free and then calling you mother was pretty entertaining Not bad, actually. Okay, so, so let's see here. Um, Honestly, creativity, I give that five stars. Easy. Uh, Gameplay was not... I mean, I'm going to go mid on this just because you didn't know how long it took you to uh, hack the systems, and we had a few bugs when we were trying. I almost gave up because I thought we were stuck in that one hiding locker, and then that didn't really work right, so that was a little bit. And also, we could completely subvert the entire chase everything and hiding mechanic by just climbing on top of the desk and just running across the cubicles. So, while it was funny that I did that, at the same time, it's also kind of um, telling in how that we could just completely ignore the whole main point of the game. Created replicate not to create for a while, <laughs> Chevy. Obviously, the story was spot on. I did like the story. Good amount of horror, and um, you know, I the sound was not bad. The sound was not bad. Um, yeah, you know, you have a point. It did. You, know, it was like, yeah, go find the, the go find the pieces, the pages all around, back and forth. Um, just trying to think here. Yeah, I'm happy with that score. So I said a printer. I don't need that on my conscience, <laughs> Chevy. I will fight you on that. <laughs> well, the only reason I didn't give it five stars is because there were some points where, like the printer, I know it's supposed to sound like very robotic. And I, it was it sounded a little muddy to me, and I couldn't really tell what it was saying. Especially at the end there, I would have liked subtitles to know its manifesto. That would have been actually more entertaining. That's the only only, and you can't do half stars in the in this rating. I wish itch let you do half stars. I really do. So I probably would have given it like four and a half. Uh, let's see here. Uh, put these over to my main. Thing here we go. Okay, so give four. There we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, not bad though. Not I, I, I enjoyed that. I actually did enjoy that. All right, next up is Halloween party at Grendel's. Wait, I don't need to do that. I need to do that by uh, Devil in Love Games. One Halloween night, a crush and a ooh, Pearl. Hey, Chi one, 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 well, on Halloween night, a crush in a mansion. Will Hazel find love, or will the Grendel family secrets trap your family secrets? 
Uh, Hazel receives a mysterious call on a night when she stays up until midnight working. Damien, her college friend and secret crush, invites her to a Halloween party at his family's mansion. Hazel's happy to finally have some fun and spend time with her crush, but things don't go as expected. The Grendel family has friend family has secrets of their own, and they are not friendly to stra- very friendly to strangers. Will Hazel be able to find her crush and express her feelings to him, or does the Grendel mansion have other plans for her? Ah! Oh, no. Oh, my lord. Meet the Grendels! Mr. Vampire, a reckless flirt who loves to drink, only if it's high-quality blood, and have fun. Ms. Witch, a true perfectionist who just likes uninvited guests and unruly relatives. Miss Katrina, a hopeless romantic who always stands for true love and friendship. The Grim Reaper, a poor workaholic who can't leave their job even at a party. Oh my god. Wow. A cartels won't be my cup of tea. Yeah, sorry, there's no hot wizards, Dora. You'll have to forgive them. All right, Halloween party at Grendel's. Let's go. Ah, also put in for Spooktober. No uh, volume so far, so if it gets loud, we can adjust it. Where are the men? I want men! Uh, I don't know, actually. Um, We can look that up after the end. All right, Halloween party at Grendel's. What is your name? Hawk. Oh, I'm her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's. <laughs> All right, let's. We want her to be Hawk. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I am gonna turn that down though. Yeah, that's a little better. We'll put it all down about there. Pork make men appear and my life will be yours. Pearl, what Folded the hands. What the fuck? Yeah, it was it was quite loud. Oh, I fell asleep again. I need to complete this article and submit it to the magazine by tomorrow. Why is there just a random hoagie and like hero sub on the fucking just floating there? My phone is ringing. Where did I put this? Who keeps calling me at this time of night? I hope it's not someone from the magazine. OMG, Damien is calling. I haven't had any contact with him since college. It's been almost two years. I better stop muttering to myself and open up as soon as possible. Hello, Hawk. I'm sorry for calling so late. I hope I didn't disturb you. Hello, Damien. <clears throat> My voice cracked. No! <laughs> Hello, Damien. No, you didn't disturb me. On the contrary, it's a good thing you called me. Otherwise, I would have slept soundly when I was supposed to be working all night. Fuck you, Pearl. <laughs> I'm glad about that. How are you? I'm doing great, except for the fact that I'll be walking around like a zombie tomorrow because I have a paper to finish. And you? I'm fine, too. After graduation, I had to travel because of family business. It was a sudden development. I'm sorry I couldn't answer your calls. I wonder what kind of family trip takes two years, thinking. <laughs> you could just admit you ghosted me, Damien. Oh, really? I hope everything is okay now. Pauses briefly. <laughs> I suppose so. Actually, I wanted to invite you to a Halloween party. The invitation should have reached you by now. Chevy. Fortune <laughs> Pink. Oh, really? I wonder where I put it. It must have gotten lost in the other mail. Yes, I did. Thank you. What's your answer? Will you join? I'd love to meet you again. Actually, it's been a long time since I went to a party. It could be fun. I wonder where this... Where is this party? Of course I'll join. If nothing goes wrong, I'll be there. I'm so glad to hear that. I'll be waiting for you. I don't want to interrupt your work any longer. Good night. Thank you. Good night to you, too. Damien and I graduated from the same university. We shared many lectures. Uh, he also had a part-time job at the bookstore I frequented. 
I read all the books he recommended to me. But we weren't very close. Because Damien was a quiet, shy, introvert person. I actually had a crush on him and wanted to get him to, to know him better. But getting close to him was even harder than impressing the editors of the magazine I worked for. After graduation, he had completely vanished without a trace. He was like a total ghost. Damien called me and invited me to the party. I can't believe it. The horoscope in the magazine was right. While my professional life is going terribly, my love life has some surprising twists. It's a bit strange, but exciting. I need to find that invitation right away. My gigantic energy booster for late night works. <laughs> oh, the invitation was between the pages of the magazine, along with the electricity bill that I forgot to pay. <laughs> what? What? Would you be pleased to see you among... We would be pleased to see you among our... Us... Among us at our 237th Grendel family Halloween party. Yes, I know you will come even if we don't send an invitation, but we are doing our duty. Don't forget to wear your <clears throat> wear your best costume. It would be good if you tried to be a little human-like. Location, Grendel Mansion, of course. Time, Halloween, of course. My never-ending projects. What is battery can last tonight? Hey, oh, hey, we, have, we picked up the sandwich. Nice. What? Why would I need... Okay, well, let's just continue. Oh, shit. Uh, what a peculiar invitation. Could this really be the 237th Halloween party? They must be kidding. Anyway, I never knew Damien's family had a mansion. I'm so lucky to be going to a mansion for the first time. I need to choose a costume for myself immediately. Oh, okay, which... I should use the next costume for myself. Why does the font keep changing? Are we gonna be which? Uh, looks like a bride? Or sexy temptress? A us. <laughs> Pick three. Pearl? Wow. Wow. Dora? <laughs> Mercy killing. One is cute, yeah. We all know which one I would pick, but I'll go with one. That's a cute rash. Pearl, no! Great, I ordered the costume. I'll try it as soon as it arrives. Now I have to do is finish this damn article, submit it, and pray that this week goes by as quickly as possible. Wow, Pearl. One week later. I didn't know the Grendel Mansion was so far from the city. Whoops, GPS is not working. How did I run out of gas so fast? I filled the tank completely before setting off. Anyway, there seems to be a station nearby. I can also ask how to get to the mansion. Hey, anyone out there? Don't you see? I'm here. Oh, don't you see? I'm here! Oh, hello. I couldn't see because it was too dark. Fortunately, I managed to fill the tank without any problems. Do you know how to get to Grendel's mansion? Grendel's mansion? Yes. Did I pronounce it wrong? Why is she looking at me strangely? Why are you going there? Pearl. Oh, I'm invited to the Halloween party there. Are you from the Grendel family? No, do I have to be a family member to go there? I don't know, but I usually don't see anyone other than the Grendel family going to that mansion. Mm, they must not like many guests. I wonder if you know how I can get there. I worked as an attendant at a Halloween party there. I guess I'll, ne I'll, I guess I'll never be able to go to the party. When I was young, of course. Everyone in the house is very weird. The Grendel family is a truly weird family. How weird are they? She's weird too, isn't she? I can't explain how it was. It just felt that way. My feelings are strong too. They own the richest mine in the region. Of course, the mine is now closed. So still, no one should be deceived by their wealth. Oh, jeez. Our magazine, uh, our magazine manager would have said this would be a great article topic, but lucky she's not here. The Grendel family needs to be thoroughly investigated. If you follow this road, you'll reach the mansion in half an hour. 
really? Thanks. I better go without any further delay. Wait, if you're determined to go, you better take this. What is this? A talisman! They say it brings good luck. Keep it! Oh, it looks more like a devilish cursed piece. <laughs> Sheffy. Our magazine editor, editor loves this kind of stuff with enough imagination. It can make a great article topic. Thank you, good night. Have fun at the party. After half an hour. I finally made it to the mansion. But why is there no light? Great, I must have arrived at the party arrived at the party just in time. Do you have an invitation? Here it is. Hmm. You don't look like a family member, but you can pass. Just be careful not to curse the guests and don't use your broom inside. <laughs> now that's a real Halloween party. Don't worry, I'm not someone who causes trouble. Damien invited me. By the way, I love your costume. You look like a real skeleton. I already am. <laughs> I hope everyone at the party is as much fun as you. So many guests. How will I find Damien among so many people? Skinny thick. Should I call? No, his phone is off. Thank you, Bork. <laughs> Romantic face. Smiling face with hearts. Wow, bro. He's gone missing again, just like in the old days. But this time, he can't escape from me. I'll find him at all costs. I am determined. Okay, only thing I can do is this. Yeah, just a little bit. Hi, I'm Hawk. I'm a friend of Damien. Do you know him? Hello, sweet thing. Would you like to quench your thirst with some blood? Man of vampire costume. Fortunately, my aunts have ordered even more blood than last year. Mmm, it's really delicious. Blood? It must be a red drink. Everyone really seems to be getting into the theme of the party. It's best to go along with them. Thanks, but I'll pass. You don't have to drink. I have an aunt who loves blood baths. She claims it keeps her young and beautiful. Unfortunately, that's not a skincare routine I prefer. You definitely don't need it. Need it. You look absolutely exquisite. I'm curious if you have any special spells for that. Oh, thank you. It's all thanks to my genetics. You're really lucky. Mm, strange, but attractive. Stay focused, Hawk. You're here for Damien. Ha! It's nice to chat with you, but I need to find someone. Do you know Damien? Damien? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course I know him. He happens to be my cousin. But I don't remember to what degree he is my cousin. Very nice to meet you. Have you seen... Okay, she said that like three times. I'm... I'm... Come on, girl. Don't be a ditz. Ha 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 Yes, he was just outstanding sadly at the waterfall of love. Oops, I missed him. He must be wandering around absentmindedly. After all, today is an important day for him. He's finally joining us now. Is he joining the family business or do you have another family tradition? They really are as strange as the granny at the gas station said. Ha 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 They are hilarious. Why don't you have a drink and chat with me instead of looking for Damien? I can't deny, it's a confusing offer. CONFUSING OFFER! Get a grip, Hawk. You're here for Damien. I definitely need to find Damien. Dora, <laughs> it's up to you, sweetheart. If you change your mind, I'll be right here. <laughs> Pearl, yeah, exactly. Now let's, not, now let's not let the others finish all the blood before they did, before they did like, they did last year. Wait, what? Oh, I was almost drowning. What the hell is this? Damien must have dropped something while looking at the waterfall a moment ago. Wait a second, can I have what you found in your glass? Oh, of course, sweetie. Hey, you werewolf, stay away from the waterfall. I remember, this is a piece of Damien's necklace that he wears all the time, but where are the other parts? I, wow. Hello. Women of Wish. Hmm, I don't recognize you. Wait, what kind of voice is that? It looks like you must be from the Hot Witches Group. Hot Witches Group. Actually, I got the costume from a website on the internet. Hmm, they're keeping up with the times quickly. I'm Hawk, Damien's friend. Is that right? So I asked him to bring me more pumpkins to make my magical wonder pies, but instead of helping me, he disappeared. 
He took it from my sister, irresponsible like her. Oh, are you Damien's aunt? Yes. <clears throat> yes, you can say that. What the fuck? I wonder if there's anyone normal in this family. You look very young. Really? Thank you. Black Rose. I use an ancient spell for that. Is it something like a cream? You can make it into a cream and apply it to your skin, of course. I do it directly in the cauldron and complete the spell with its steam. So it's steam therapy. It's really easy to make, but it's hard to find the ingredients. Yeah, they actually draw hands. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the art's not bad. He says while looking respectfully. <laughs> Frog legs and virgin blood have gotten really expensive lately. Uh, I guess I'll stick to ready-made creams. I understand. The party is wonderful, by the way. Thank you. You're very kind. A little bit, yeah. Just between us, preparing a party is even harder than casting a thousand-year curse spell. Who invited the Grim Reaper? Didn't I tell you, tell you that no one would be allowed in without an invitation? Sorry, I need to take care of him. Sure. Damien is not here either. I wonder how I will find him. Hey, look here. Hmm? Who's talking? Are you Damien? Bitch! <laughs> I know that she's like, oh, it could be him in a costume. She's like, oh, are you Damien in the costume? But no, just the way that it sounds, it just... <laughs> but girl, you know what he sounds like. No, it's me. But you're a pumpkin. And does it have a microphone inside? I don't have a microphone inside me, but I have something else that might be useful. <laughs> oh, this is a piece of Damien's necklace. Thank you, pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> oh, sure. It's still too loud, yeah. My apologies. I didn't even see that, Chevy. Damien saved me from being up high, so I helped you. No, she didn't, Pearl. <laughs> Did you see where Damien was going? I remember talking to the Grim Reaper. You can ask them. You're amazing. I know. Hello, is there a problem? Yes, a big problem. This person came to the party even though he wasn't invited. He's my friend. Why would he need an invitation? What, have you lost your mind? How do you make friends with the Grim Reaper? On the contrary, I am sane. He is my only friend. Ladies, there's no need to fight. My shift is about to start. I better go. Darling, how can you leave so early? Can you wait a second? Have you seen Damien? Yes, we just talked. He asked me if I liked my job and if my job was enjoyable. I think he's a little confused about his future. Why is Damien interested in career planning at a Halloween party? Uh, poor Damien. He can't enjoy the party at all. He's also dropped his necklace. Here's a piece of it. Oh, thank you very much. I have the other pieces, too. I'll give it to him. So do you know where he is now? Tora? Yes, he went up. He said he would rest. You can get there if you use the stairs. Have fun. I'll finally found him. find him. I must fix the necklace. I should give it to Damien. Uh oh. What a strange place. Where did Damien go? Why is the clock chiming so loudly? How did I get here? Did I teleport? Look at the car. It's like something out of the old movie. Out of old movies. Wait, what? What? Why, what is up with this woman here, though? Cursed. What's that shadow next to the board? What? What's wrong with him? Oh my god. I dro How I dropped it? You didn't drop it, lady. My hand passed through her. Don't I exist anymore? Can't you see me? 
The bus still hasn't arrived. Susan must be at the party already. Ma'am, look at me, please. Uh, I'm so late. So your only concern is partying? I think I, I think I actually became invisible. Now she can go and get all the money of the nearest bank. Of course, I'm joking. Apparently, the shadow of me are invisible. Judging not only from the cars and the buildings, but also from the clothes. It must be in the early 2000s. I really came to the past. The shadow must have something to do with me coming to the past. Why did he tear down the poster on the billboard and destroy the phone? I must find the shadow. Oh, I'm in the middle of the street. Oh, maybe I have to... Oh. Pieces with tape. I have to find... Is there multiple pieces of... Nope. I can take the tape. Oh, there we go. Girls waiting for the bus to go to the Halloween party. Valve in the middle of the street, but what do I do with the valve, though? I don't think I can do anything with it. Oh, here we go. What the? Oh, whoops. Oh my god, how could I fix it? The event will start soon! Shadow's here, messed up everything again! Hmm, the door's locked. I hope it doesn't come out and ruin more things. I must fix what the shadow is destroyed. Well, there's the... Find the valve. Okay, we already know where the valve is. To stop the water. We have a wire cutter instead. Now I can stop the water! Where's the other? Oh, here. Derp. There we go. Ha ha! That doesn't look terrible at all. <laughs> the water finally stopped. Finally. What, what is it, though? It's a battery. Okay. Oh, it's the battery for the girl's phone. Maybe not. Here we go. What do I need a wire cutter and screwdriver for, though? Oh, there. It's right down there. Broken, where's the battery? Oh, oh and battery phone? Okay, there we go. I had to pick it up first. Derp. Phone, okay. Wait, those aren't... Those aren't... Those were nails. Those, those were nails, honey. Oh, no. Phone, okay, well. Actually, give it to the girl. I'm such a good person. Ha! <laughs> Amy, where are you? Still waiting for the for the bus? It's a good thing you didn't come. The party's not at all what I expected. There are people who cause trouble, and I'm going back now. Oh no, I dressed all I all dressed up for nothing. I wish I'd never left the house. I agree, Amy. I left the house thinking I was going to the party, but I came back to the past. Now I'll wait for the bus to return home. Fortunately, I can't return by bus. Okay, so we have to use the wire cutter somewhere, but I just don't know where. This is the book I read on Damien's recommendation. Today's the author's signature event. Where does the poster come from? Cursed. Hmm, the book seems strange, but Red Hall is very close. I've been waiting for the bus in the rain for hours. It wouldn't hurt to warm up a bit and have a free snack. Amy's going to the event. I'd better follow her. Oh, there we go. I wonder what he's ruining this time. Are the treats free or f uh, free only for those f with books? How ridiculous. Hmm. It's cheaper to buy the book. Can I buy a book? Which book? You know, the author will attend soon. On the poster. Cursed. I'm sorry, but the cabinet with the books is locked. We can't find the key either. What a pity. The vending machine doesn't work either. I'd better go home. 
No, Amy, stop! I worked so hard to bring you this far. Oh, I'm shouting in vain. She can't hear me. Hmm, I guess I can wait until the rain stops. I need to solve the problems before Amy changes her mind. Tweezers for a while, okay. Wire cutters on that. Oh, the demon coin! No, never mind. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, wait, what? Okay, I guess we got the writer's pen. Do I use these on the... Oh my god, that is... Wait, what? What's this paper? I need my books to free and feed myself. I've eaten nothing today because I was going to dress up for a party. Amy, no! That's not... Oh, no! She gave it to the writer. That looks demonic. I can have the pen of the author and finally put things back to normal. This is what I'm supposed to do? Why is the shadow so persistently trying to change the past? I don't know. I guess I can't ask him that either. I have to find an answer according to my feelings. What does this see her logic? Oh, shit. There's two... Okay, so we'll save here. There's a choice. Okay, don't give the pen. I believe the shadow has a reason to change the past. I hope I'm not wrong. Since my pen is missing, I must go. My people need me. <laughs> Please wait, writer. Let me give you another pin. This is a very specially designed pin. Wait, please. Oh, what a shame. Now the author is gone. I bought the book for nothing. Luckily, Susan loves paranormal stories. I can give it to... Luckily, Susan loves paranormal stories. I can give it to her. Shadow, we finally met. Can't believe it. Damien, were you the shadow all along? But why? Look at it. I understand your surprise, Hawk, but unfortunately, I don't have time to explain everything from the beginning. I'm going. Again? Unfortunately. Then let's go together. I'm dying to leave this weird party, too. I can't take you with me, Hawk. I'm not the Grim Reaper. I'm sure you wouldn't want that, either. Grim Reaper? With that joke, I have no doubt you're one of the Grendels. Unfortunately, it's not a joke, Hawk. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm cursed. What? I don't know how to explain the curse to you. Actually, I don't know much about it. All I know is that all the men in my family are cursed. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I know it's hard to believe, but I am actually a ghost. Even worse, a ghost that will turn into a monster and forget his identity. Until now, you just stopped my parents from meeting, so now I am free from this curse. Your mom and dad, Amy and the writer? Yes. So I just changed the past so you'll never have been born? Yes, I may disappear at any moment. Wasn't there another way? There must be another way to break the curse. Unfortunately, neither I nor anyone else in my family is able to end the curse. This was my last solution to avoid turning into a monster. People in the mansion. They are my cursed family. You once told me that we always have the choice to live the way we want. Oh, did I do that? My big mouth. Thank you for everything. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> the particle curse. I made you disappear. You set me free. This isn't the end, Hawk. It's just the beginning. We will meet again in a different universe. I'm sure of it. If we meet, I won't let you disappear from my sight this time. I'll be looking forward to that. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Damien. I've lost you. At least in this universe. Now we should go downstairs and ask the others in the mansion how I can transition to the other universes. <laughs> what? First then. Okay. That <laughs> Multiple love interests, customizable main character design, more adventure to the past, various different aesthetics. Damien Grendel and Mr. Vampire. <laughs> this should paranormal. <laughs> oh, wow. That was... Thanks for playing. Okay, well, now we have to see what happens when we give him the pin. Everything should be as it was before. Where did this pen come from? But I just checked this place. Anyway, we can start. After a while. The snacks are really delicious. While I'm here, let me get my book signed. Amy suddenly spills her drink on the author as he hands him her book. As she hands him her book. Huh? I got completely wet. Why don't you be more careful? I'm so sorry. It was a mistake. Let me help you. 
Amy accidentally touches the writer's hand as she hands him the tissue. I can't believe it. What happened? What's the problem? The author is in shock. You touched me. He's already a ghost. What? Did I touch the wrong place? Sorry, it was a mistake. Jump first life into the particle, man. No, it's not the point, but... Oh, are you a ghost like the character in your book and can't touch people? Hee hee hee. Sorry, I just wanted to relieve tension. Ha ha ha. What's your name? Amy. Amy Armstrong. My cell number is triple X. <laughs> just immediately. Girl. So you have a cute face. It's no problem. You can call me. <laughs> oh, okay. I was asking your name to sign the book. Well, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot about the book. Here, I signed it. So, Amy, do you have any plans after this? Actually, I was invited to a party, but my friend said it wouldn't be fun, so I decided not to go. I'll be going home, hopelessly. Great. So, maybe we can go to a party together. What do you think? That'd be awesome. I wouldn't want to get ready for nothing. I guess this is the beginning of a new story. I'm happy to fix what the shadow ruined. Stop, Shadow. Tell me who you are, why you came back to the past, and messed with these people. Please tell me how to get back to the future. Oh, what are these lights? Am I blind or what? No, I'm back at the mansion, finally. What about the Shadow? Did he come to the mansion too? Hmm, there doesn't seem to be anyone around but me. So there's, is there any change? Some vines on the family tree are gone. But it's the author himself. There's also portraits of Amy and Damien. He's so handsome in the portrait. Hmm, Amy and the writer, Damien's mother and father? I can't believe it. I really went back in time. If our manager were here, he'd say this would make for a great article topic. Hmm, so the Shadow was trying to stop Damien's parents from meeting. I'm glad I didn't let it. What's the Shadow's problem with Damien? I don't have any time to think about this. Shadow may still be trying to harm Damien. I must find him as soon as possible. It's best to get help from other family members. Hello, Mr. Vampire. I believe you are a vampire. <laughs> what was the reason for not believing before? My good looks. You're very funny. Have you seen a shadow around here? I just... Yeah, I guess, Quiz. That's the whole thing. She could touch him and they made a baby. Make the mother a whole homeless here, right? Or get Fred over every book. Eternal. I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you still looking for my cousin, Damien? Because I've never seen anyone who looks more like a shadow than him. Now, I'm talking about a real shadow. He traveled through time. I think someone had too much alcohol. You can find everything that, here. This includes the werewolf and the grim reaper. But the time-traveling shadow was too crazy for our family. Oh, but I'm sure I'm not dreaming. Shadow tried to separate Damien's parents. Ha ha ha. This sounds like Aunt Melissa's work. Who is she? I'm sorry, there's an emergency. My glass is empty. I have to go. If you want to join me. I need to find the shadow urgently. It was just a polite offer. Bye, bitch. Ah. Uh, one moment, please, Miss Witch. Here, is there a problem with the food? Oh, no, actually, I haven't tasted the food yet. Then you have a problem with the drinks. No, like I said before, the party is great. I just wanted to know if you saw the shadow. Shadow? It can't be. Do we still have uninvited guests? No, don't worry. I'm not sure the shadow is here either. Is that show? So I better leave now. Excuse you mean. So do you know anyone named Melissa? Well, of course. She's my sister. Oh, since you are Damien's aunt, Melissa must be Damien's aunt too. But why would she try to separate his parents? I think Mr. Vampire's guess about the shadow being Melissa is wrong. <clears throat> Wait a second. You're completely confusing everything. Melissa is Hunter's mother, not his sister. Who is Hunter? Oh, you don't know Hunter? You said you were Damien's friend, but anyway, Hunter is Damien's father. Then you are Damien's great aunt. It's true, even though I don't like. What did Melissa do again? Even though I says this so much, he, she didn't come to the party. The shadow is Melissa, but why would Damien's grandmother prevent Damien's parents from meeting? How can I find your sister? Who knows where she is? She never comes to the mansion parties properly. Thank you, lady number four. Could you please leave the, de the decorations alone? They're non-edible. If you excuse me, I must go. If you'll excuse me. 
What do I do now? It's possible for me to find the shadow. What if shadow hurts Damien? Hey, don't be so desperate. Hmm, since I can travel through time, you must be a real pumpkin too. So there is no microphone or anything. You're still wrong. I'm a clever real pumpkin. I will help you. Really? How will I find some listener? Or do you have the ability to teleport? Oh, I'm a clever pumpkin, not a wizard. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. If you're in the shadow with Melissa, why don't you go back in time and find her that way? Pearl. Do you have my worst enemy, Eternal? You're right, but how do I go back to the past? I went to Damien's parents' time by mistake. Is that so? Hmm, there must be something that makes me go back to the past. I found it. The clock near the family tree was different from now, and Damien's necklace was shining. But you have to find the right time. Thanks, Pumpkin. You truly are as clever as you say. I know. Melissa once summoned me in the middle of my sleep and asked me to kill all the girls gossiping about her. Oh, that's just Melissa. What did you do? Thank God I was off hours. Still, I wonder how she managed to summon me. She's very interested in such things. She also brought, bought the big clock upstairs from an auction. She said the clock could take you back to the past. She was ripped off badly. I don't think so. The clock can actually take you back to the past. Oh, I got hiccups now. That's right, this clock is from the cursed auction. Many items in the auction were burned to ashes without being sold. I edited an article about this in the magazine. Clock at auction. I can set the time to this time. Let's see if it works. Hooray, it worked! What the? So it looks like I came to a girl's bedroom. The shadow is here again. I wonder what he's up to. He tore the pages off the diary. Set a microphone, miss a page of the diary. Finally, a day I've been waiting for for a year is coming. I'm lucky. Most girls leave their dormitories to spend the weekend, so the surroundings will be quiet. I can save from my dormitory and go into the forest and perform the ritual without anyone noticing. I hope the ritual really works. Anyway, it's better than partying at the mansion with crazy relatives. Can the guy know, right? So, who's the shadow? Oh, Lady Sleepy. Okay. The chest is here. What am I gonna do with it? Okay, I I do not know. Just what? Wait, what? What is he? How do I get rid of security man? Security man does whatever security can. Okay, all preparations are complete. I recorded everything I did on the cassette recorder. I will also record during the ritual. I need to get some rest now because I'm going to the forest at night. I set the alarm. I hope everything will be fine. Okay. Okay, cassette. Oh, and microphone. Okay, so I'm missing parts. Okay, great. How do I fucking get rid of him? Quiz. I'm actually kind of stuck here. I don't know what to do to distract him to get him out of here. Maybe, oh wait, me, is it just the two pages? Wait, I forgot to. Just trying to ruin again. Whoops. Wait, what? Oh, microphone hidden in a diary, whoops. Okay, I guess I did it, okay, cool. First, and then the cassette, okay. Yeah, this is a little clunky. Wonder what she did record. 
It's 31st of Hall October Halloween. I'll perform my first ritual today. Is I had a friend annoying Mark and borrowed the amulet from, my fa from the family collection at their house. Monster blood. <clears throat> the blood of a male relative of mine who has turned into a monster is also in the tube. The amulet and the blood are in a bag on the table. The key of the bag is around my neck. Thank God it's in the forest next to the dormitory where the witch who cast a spell on the amulet lived. I mean, I summon the spirit of the witch in the forest and get rid of the curse of my lineage. It's the only way to start a normal family. Now I need to sleep and rest. Sleep in the security man's coffee. It will take effect in a few hours. I set the alarm for midnight. Goodbye for now. Curse of lineage. I can't believe it. Anyway, I have to problems to solve. Uh, maybe I have to. After drinking sweet pill, he's. Okay, yes, there we go. Give him the perfume. It worked! Put them up to the clock. I can open the bag. Okay. I have the key. There's only a blood tube inside. Okay. Clock is running. The alarm is finally ringing. Hmm. It's ritual time. The girl takes the ritual items and cassette recorder. Uh, no, no amulet. What will I do? Oops. I don't have any time left. I need to perform the ritual with or without the amulet. Wait, 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 wait. Did I? Call the girl to the garden. Fortunately, the garden is sleeping. I can climb the wall with the ladder. I can't miss the wall like a shadow. So I have to climb it too. Here's the shadow Morbert. He has the amulet in his hand. Unfortunately, no one sees it but me. I barely managed to make it to this magic circle. What is, is someone following me? Yes, Shadow! Maybe someone from the nearby village thought it was a spell and harmed my circle. I have to do the ritual immediately before getting caught by anyone. I don't think the ritual will give accurate results with so many missing items. I must find the missing items before the ritual begins. Oh. Okay, the, the interface is really kind of clunky. Okay, can I take him with me? Oh, candles, okay. I'm a natural at this. to realize what I've seen the demonic horror movies and placing the candles. I guess it's all for the ritual. Maybe sh showing something to it. Maybe showing something to his eyes. Here's the amulet to save me. There's nothing impossible anymore. Hey, Shadow, I have my amulet too. Do you see? You will not be able to stop this ritual from happening in any way. Suddenly, Shadow comes towards me. I have no choice other than running away. The spirits, the, rit the ritual must be truly correct. Hey, we were those spirits. You there, what are you doing? Oh, it's a different ending. We'll just go with this ending, I guess. Take the amulet from the shadow, use the amulet you got from Granny. I throw the amulet to the girl. Oh, amulet, it looks like a different amulet than mine, but it doesn't matter, spirit knows best. What nonsense are you talking about, lady? Melissa takes a knife out of her pocket. You better stay away from me. Can't you see? I'm doing a ritual here. Lady, are you crazy? What is that blood? As Melissa pours blood out of the talisman, the man lunges and cuts his hand. Oh! Why'd you try to intervene? Is it blood? Oh, the blood makes me sick. Just a small cut. Stop this nonsense now. At this moment, the amulet lights up and the witch's spirit appears. Witch, you really came. Are you making movies? I was already suspicious when I saw the silly patterns on the ground. Hi, <laughs> Chevy. Did you get permission for this? See, so you're the one who broke my ritual circle. Look at those two fools who dare to call me. I summoned you, witch, so you have to listen to my wish first. Do I have to? Ha 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 ha! I can see why it's the curse in your blood. 
There's no way to escape from this curse. On the contrary, you'll pay the price for using my blood and trying to trick me. What is this woman rambling about? Can't, can't say I understand anything from the script. What? But it wasn't written like that in the book. Ha ha ha! The witch tries to cast a spell, but it doesn't work. Damn it, you use a protective spell. Moreover, the blood of one of my descendants is on it. Honestly, you look like anyone from my family. You must be connected to this man. Really? I should take a close look for the and this woman looks like my grandmother. She always wanted to be an actress. What the fuck? <laughs> Them eyes. Oh, you fools. Finish the stupid ritual now. Sorry I annoyed you with my friendship. I, dot I, thank you so much for that uh, follow. Welcome to the realm of the feathered dead. Of course, but I have one condition. You will redeem me and my lineage from the curse. I can't redeem you from a curse that I didn't put on myself. Have you never read a witch book, you fool? Hmm, there must be something you could do, though. What kind of a witch are you? Did I call you in vain? Maybe you could freeze the curse. Isn't that right, witch? I heard that from my grandmother. Witches in movies also have weird powers. You fool, if I'd known that my lineage would continue like this. Wait a second, I'm a perfectly sane engineer. I have nothing to do with this ridiculous scenario. I just took this path because it's a shortcut on my way to visit my dad, that's all. But this shortcut leads to the girls' dormitory building. Yes, my dad works there as a security guard. Well, you're wasting my time here. He's probably waiting for me. Oh, could you stay with us a little longer? We're alone in the woods and I'm scared. Fine, I can stay a bit longer. But when does the scene end? Where's the film crew? Hey, I can't listen to this nonsense any longer. As soon as I freeze the curse, finish the ritual immediately and send me back. Of course. Actresses really are high maintenance, high maintenance huh? Shh. How is she floating in midair? Wires? You're way too curious. Just shut up! I can't believe it, Damien. Were you the shadow from the very beginning? Or why? What about your hands? I understand the reason for your surprise, Hawk, but don't worry. I will answer them all. Of course you will. Look at this place you were invited you where you invited me for a party. Calm down, please. Aren't you afraid of my claws at all? Why should I be afraid? I even saw a Grim Reaper down there. You're right. What would you like to learn first? <laughs> what is this? What is the curse? I don't know how to explain the curse to you. Actually, I don't know much about it either. All I know is that all my men and my family are cursed. I can't believe it. I know it's hard to believe, but I am actually a ghost. What's worse is that I was a ghost destined to turn into a monster and forgot my identity and forget my identity. I've been fighting against that end for the past two years. So that's why you avoided me for two years. <laughs> Stop! Say, say what I am! <laughs> I quiz! These are the hands of a killer. No! Jimmy! <laughs> Lol, no clue. Hit it one! <laughs> I couldn't help it. There were things, there were times when I would disappear completely, almost turning invisible. Luckily, the witch's spell halted the curse, for now at least. So you're a ghost now? I don't think so. I'm not a monster, except for my claws. Don't worry, there's nothing, that's nothing a good manicure can't fix. <laughs> Were you a shadow until a few seconds ago? I don't know that either. Once I went back to the past, I turned into a shadow. I might have something to do with the curse. It still doesn't sound logical, but I can understand it. What happened to Amy in the author's time? For God's sake, why did you try to prevent your parents from meeting? Oh, I had no choice. The curse was quickly beginning to take effect on my body. <laughs> Quiz! Hold on tight, spider monkey. God damn it. <laughs> I love this trip. Chevy just... God damn it! I didn't want to turn to a monster like the family before... My family before the night was over. Besides, I was at risk of losing my memory. Wait, your fa was your father the writer a ghost like you? Yes, but my father is luckier than me. He still lives as a ghost without turning into a monster. I understand now. That's why he was surprised that Amy touched him. I mean, she could touch him, but how could she? Oh, I don't know that either, but there are some people who can communicate with ghosts. My mother is one of them. I think you're too. I think you are too. I always wanted to be someone special for you, but I guess not like this. Pardon? It's nothing. What happened during Melissa's time? Why would you try to interfere with your grandmother's ritual? She wanted to free her family from the curse, too. Yes, yeah, she wanted to get free from the curse, but as you can see, the way she did it wasn't right. 
to to be honest, I don't think the ritual would work very well on its own. But what's the worst that could happen? What was the worst that could happen? Oh God! Ghost sperm. Ectoplasm. <laughs> Bustin makes him feel good. God damn it, eternal. Super kill myself. The witch my grandmother summoned could get angry at her and increase the power of the curse. Oh, that's really bad. That's what actually happened. Of course, at the time, my grandfather's blood had not yet been involved in the, in the ritual. Your grandfather? Is that man of the forest your grandfather? Yes, from a nearby village, and probably a descendant of the witch my grandmother summoned. Your meaning seems quite interesting. Ha ha ha! I'm sorry. Don't worry, I totally agree. Why'd you invite me to the party? I'm sorry to admit this, but I knew you were different and I wanted to use that. This is just, just sitting there with his fucking hands out, just ready to just slice and dice. How am I different? You must mean I can touch ghosts like Amy. Actually, there's more. You can feel my energy until it was completely erased from the surroundings. It wasn't easy to escape from you. Can I really do that? I thought it was just my stalking skill. I know it sounds weird to you, but yes, I thought you might be a descendant of the witch and help me. Being descended from witches? Are you sure? Me and the witch, huh? Wait, the witch was the one dude's grandmother, so that means that she's... Descent... Like, related to... She's like Damien's cousin. Twice removed. STILL LEGAL! So I didn't choose this costume for nothing. Your witch instincts must be at work. You look amazing in this costume. But that's just my theory. When you were late, I had to act alone. I had very little time. Well, I couldn't help it. I ran out of gas on the way. Although, now that I think about it, I'm glad. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get the protective amulet from Granny. Granny. Did you get that amulet from a granny? I need to meet this granny as soon as possible. <laughs> Why not if you drive me back home? Okay, but how was I supposed to help you? By changing the past you have already done tonight. It's only a little mutation. <laughs> by, preventing your parents from, by preventing your parents from meeting and making you disappear? As I said, I had no choice. Unfortunately, neither I nor anyone else in my family was able to free us from the curse. This is my last solution to avoid turning into a monster. So those in the mansion, they are my cursed family. They seem more like crazy to me, but we could also say they were cursed. Whatever you want. To tell you the truth, Damien, whether you are a ghost or a monster, you, you are still you and I love you in every way. Are you sure? Before you answer, these are the hands of a killer. <laughs> Would you like to take a closer look at my claws? You may not have been able to see it clearly from there. Of course I am sure, Damien. Ha! Oh, God. As long as you let me take a little bit of your nails, hair, and blood from time to time for some spell work, I won't even mention it. Wait, so she's really a, a fucking witch now? What? What? Ah, uh, I just thought it was part of your costume, but that's fine. There's no escaping witches anyway. I'm just joking, Damien. <laughs> you probably don't think I came to the mansion to the party with all your crazy relatives. How can I be sure you're not looking for a new article topic for the magazine? Oh, you ruined my whole plan, but you were so naive. My true evil intention was to kidnap you and sell you to a witch to reveal all your secrets. Sounds like a good deal. If you're that witch, I can offer cooperation. Agreed. Curse. Oh, the third ending. I, that's all we're going to go for tonight. I, that's, that was, uh... She wants to ride your claws. Quiz! Can you say hot gilfs are in my hair? Um, huh. I, <laughs> I have, um, hum. Oh, here's, oh, there's the, if you were the bride or whatever, the ghost. <laughs> I also, it's kind of clever how they did multiple costumes. This, if you wore that one. Oh, jeez. She does. You saw how she was eye fucking him in that arc <laughs> quiz. Um, okay, so I'm I'm only giving. I would have given it a four, except it was a little clunky. Okay, it was it was entertaining. It was entertaining. I will give it that, but it was a little clunky, and there were quite a few typos and things like that. So I feel like it could be. It could definitely do with a good deal of proofreading. Um, 
I'm also gonna give the adventure part, like we the puzzle stuff, because it was that was also excuse me, a little clunky to deal with. I'll be honest, this was a very creative game. <laughs> I did like the art. The art was very nice. Um, I don't really feel like there was much horror to this other than like horror icons and things like that. It was super supernatural Loki story, but it's more it's way, 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 way more of a it's it's not a horror story with romance, it's a romance story with bits of horror, is how that felt. And I will be perfectly the Honestly, the, like one star is like there was like t absolutely, absolutely god awful in my mind, but two stars just like it was there, but it just wasn't implemented very well. Yeah, it's totally romance. Yeah, yeah, very rich. That's why I like the creativity is right up there, but the horror is just basically they were just I just average, not really like oh my ah uh, you know that sort or anything like really deep and dark or like you know his family secrets was like oh hey we're all <laughs> i'm a vampire i'm a witch i'm the grim reaper yeah you know like, <laughs> like really <laughs> so not a terrible game but yeah not the best visual novel i've experienced but most certainly not the worst he's a lot more work uh cleaning up the script so it sounds like more natural dialogue and this whole game didn't feel like a horror game with romance but a romance game with light horror elements and even those were tenuous mostly just characters in the background slash side characters Oof. actually you know what? i'm i'm gonna dock in another point on horror just i mean it, it was there but like yeah it was just it was barely a horror game barely um I will say as a positive, oh yeah. Also, uh, the UI was really clunky at times and obscured the dialogue in weird and annoying ways. Most games like this are better suited to having it at the top of the screen or in the middle at least. Yeah, so that way you don't miss dialogue. Say so as a positive, this was a genuinely entertaining story. Just needs work. Yeah, there we go. I think that's fair. Okay, let's see. Let's, uh, do, 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 do. Holland Party at Grendel's. Here we go. Three, three, four, two, two. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. All right, we have played only four games tonight. Holy crap. I feel like I'm, I'm not doing well. <laughs> like, I... Uh, I need to kick it up a notch, but then to get these games, like a lot of these games are, are taking some time to play. Whew. Um, that is true. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I am. The games, like, this is in submission order. So, yeah, totally. Whew. I wonder how long this one is. It's already 10 o'clock. I think we'll just leave it at the four games. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, there's like a whole month to race, so I don't mind taking forever to play all these because it was my game jam, A, and B, I said I would play them all, and we are going to. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm actually having fun with this, like, a lot. Like, I just love that 101 people, you know, including those that got 
disqualified for various reasons um came in and did awesome stuff for this jam like that 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 that's what means a lot to me like more than anything that's what's awesome yeah we'll we'll do this tomorrow so that concludes the fourth night of october horrors